Hi Stampers, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com and I have the first of August Hostess Club cards for you. Um, we're going to be using a stamp set called Cafe, Coffee Cafe and it's just kind of a fun little stamp set and make this simple little card. So um, let's get started with that. Let me give you the cutting sizes. This is what you're going to need. Um, those are your paint pieces. And let's just go ahead and get this adorable little card stamped up. All right, we are using the Early Espresso stamp pad. I've used the Stitch Shape oval along with the Coordinating Layering oval uh, framelit. And I'm just going to do Life Happens Coffee Helps right here on the Crumb Cake one. We'll go ahead and add that to the front. Five. And let's go ahead and stamp the inside. Um, this is what the inside looks like. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. So we're just going to add that saying right there on the right hand side. Let's add that there. And then we'll go ahead and add a little bit of this is just a scrap of the designer paper that I had laying around and I thought it would work nice on the inside. So let's just go ahead and add our little hearts. I'm going to add a little dab of glue here and a little dab of glue here. And we'll go ahead and just put our hearts right in that glue. And it's quick and easy. Isn't that adorable? Just so stinking cute. Okay, attach our layered on the early espresso. Okay, and that will go in the inside of our crumb cake again. Attach that to the inside, quick and easy. Then it's just a matter of adding my designer paper. Love that paper. Of course, I love coffee, so stands to reason. And then it's just a matter of adding our embellishments, finishing the front of the card. Now one of the things that I did was you can use a big long strip across the front, but what I found worked almost better for me, and you're not wasting as much, is just to use two little schnibbles of your, rib, of your uh, burlap, attach it with a glue dot, and that way I could, you know, move my I could move it sideways back and forth depending on, you know, once I laid, once I added this image, I could kind of adjust this if I have to. If it was a full long one, I was stuck. And if I didn't like the, how long my, my ribbon was or how much was peeking out, I was stuck. All right, and then we are going to add some of the Bermuda Bay ribbon. And same thing, just go ahead and snip a little bit here. Again, like I said, it allows me to adjust the length of the ribbon depending on where my layer falls, so it just makes it a little bit easier. So, all right, and then just using glue dots, I'm just going to attach the ribbon there. And same thing with the other side. We'll just go ahead and attach that with the glue dots. Okay. All right, let's add our... All right, let's add dimensionals to the back of the scalloped layer. Okay, and we're just going to add that right here. All right, and here is a little trick that I used for my coffee carafe. Um, what I did is I just cut this out by hand. Now if you take and use your scissors and come down one of the lines, it's really quite easy just to go ahead and cut out that handle. And then you can use just a little schnibble of the glue of the dimensional again or a little piece of tape to go ahead and seal that back up. That way you've got the look of you've got the look of the coffee pot and you can still see that. So isn't that cute? Let's add our coffee cup. Stick that right down here. 
And I'm gonna need one more heart. I can't seem to find it in my mess. So let's go ahead and add that. Little dab of glue. And there you go. Really quick, simple, and cute. Outside, inside, cute little card. Let me show you a couple of different variations. So the paper that I use to cut out the coffee cups and um, coffee pots is this paper from the um, that DSP. And so what I did was I just used the scissors and there is a dimensional, or not a dimensional, there is a framelit that will cut out those cups, the little Starbucks cups, but um, I just used some, did some fussy cutting. Let me show you a couple of different variations. So that's using your traditional French press. This one is the other colored French press with just the reverse. I used some green instead and then used some green paper on the inside. Um, here is the, the olive old-fashioned coffee pot with a little cute little cup. Here is the old-fashioned with the Starbucks cup and the um, vintage enamel coffee pot with the little hearts. So just a real quick little variation, some variations so that you can use the variety of coffee pots from that um, paper. So again, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com and thanks again for joining me today.